of, of uh, affection, right? People doing like blimps over people's houses or like, you know, they send the planes with the little thing behind it spelling something out or billboards or even personal ads. Personally, I, I, I could never do that stuff. But uh, Chris, you don't have any problem with these kind of uh, displays. I mean, coming on TV and doing this is like no big deal for you, right? To come on here and talk about it? No, not to let her know that I love her. No. Aww. Aww. Okay, what kinds of things have you done to well, show her? Okay, we, we parted about a month ago, and I was really, I missed her a lot, so I wanted to let her know somehow. So the night that it snowed, which was uh, sometime in March here in, in the tri-state area, I went to her house, and I really didn't have the nerve to ring the bell, so I left hearts in her car in the snow. I drew them in there, so that when she came out in the morning, she would see them. Is it after he told me not to talk to him anymore? Well, that was back in March. I had. We, we had a lot of trouble in February and March. We were fighting a lot, and I thought if we parted for a while, it would work out. And every time we separated, it would be like, we won't talk for a while, I'll call you tomorrow. So I thought the best way to do it is if I said we should break up. In my mind, I thought that we'd be getting back together. To her, she thought I abandoned her love and had usually forgotten when all someone, about it. When someone says to you they're breaking up with you, it usually means it's over. But in my heart, I really didn't mean it to be over. I still loved her and thought about her every day. You should have let me know. That. Yeah. Well, he, I guess he's letting you know right now. Now it's too late. Thank oh. you. Oh. Why, he's done this so why many is it too times. late? Why, why is it too late? He's done this. We broke up once last year, and I went back to him again. He was, that's a totally different story. He was cheating on me and everything. And we oh. broke up. It's a story we wouldn't mind hearing. <laughs> What'd you do? And then, wait, wait, and then I went back to him while he was still seeing this other girl. I went back to him. And then he just couldn't handle what was going on between his friends not liking me, my parents not liking him. So he broke up with me March 1st, and then that was it. And I feel if I keep going back to him, it's just going to keep happening. Well, what, what happened in the past with that is when we first started, I met her in September 89. Can you tell me about the cheating now? Yeah, I met okay, her in September 89 at Jersey City State College. And we, neither of us had been in a serious relationship, and we fell really deeply in love with each other. I had a problem, though. I'm not very communicative in a relationship. When, whenever there was a problem with me that she had, she would be happy to tell me about it. But I never wanted to hurt her, so I would never come out and say to her what I was feeling. And I met this girl at work, and I started to think, as time went on, that maybe uh, Dawn might not be the right person. So back in September, I did a lot of things that a boyfriend should never do to a girlfriend. <laughs> and I apologized to her, to her for it. And like she said, we got back together. What did you do? You, you went out with another girl? I, well, I broke up with her, went out with the other girl, and I went back well, and forth. Well, he was with going out with her before he broke up with me. He was writing I, her I, love letters three months before we broke up. I didn't know I anything about her. Right. He bought her a oh. teddy bear. He bought me the same teddy bear you, a week later. <gasps> bought the same one? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We Did got back together in November, and she forgave me for all that. And I, I really loved her. I bought her a commitment ring. I wanted it to be an engagement ring, but it was a commitment ring. And she bought me this bracelet, and I wore it every day. I put it on the first thing when I woke up. The only problem was, due to a lot of things, her parents, unfortunately, didn't like me. Why, didn't they, why didn't they like you? Well, because... Uh, this girl here must know you or something. I September. didn't even realize. Because of what happened in September, and also... We're two different religions. Dawn is Jewish and I'm Catholic. And when we first started out, someone gave me the impression that her parents wouldn't allow us to go out unless we were Jewish. That wasn't true at all. Well, I didn't know that. I led her to believe that I was of Jewish descent somewhat in my he family. He told my mother to believe someone was Jewish. What did you say? But I came, I came out in November. Wait, wait, wait. Tell us the truth here. Well, what? when we got back together in November. This girl's about to tell me if you don't tell me. When so. we got back together in November, I figured the best thing, because this did bother me throughout the relationship. I wanted to let their, her parents know, come out honestly and tell them before they found out. I did, and they still were very you angry. You haven't told me what you said yet. What did he do? He told my mom. Um, she didn't even ask, and she, she's not racist Wait, or anything. Wait, who's your mom? You're, are, who oh, are you related this, this to? This is my there. sister. Oh, okay. I did not know this. Okay. Hi, my name is Rena. Okay. She's my sister. Um, my mom is not racist and does not care about religions or anything like that. And he knows that. But for I didn't some know reason, that in the beginning, though. Okay, That's... you did, Chris. We think so. It was the first day. <laughs> It was the first okay. day. I so didn't know. Anyway, what did he say? We're sitting around the dinner table, and he says, Mrs. Strauss, you know, as a matter of fact, my grandfather's Jewish. But he, my mom didn't ask, and my mom said, oh, that's nice. Forgot about it. Like, the next day, forgot about it, or the next hour. And then he goes, Dawn, I lied to you. I, I wanted, I told your mom I was Jewish. Two years after, he told my mother he was Jewish. After, he told me he lied to me. He said, among <laughs> from everything else I've lied to you about, about the other relationship. That was when and we the, got back whatever. together. I wanted to start clean. Oh, wait, can I say something? Because I love her. I wanted to be Can I say something? Back. We love you too, Chris. He's an actor. 
He's a good actor. Actually, sincere, the way he said that. Okay. He goes to Jersey City State College. Well, he went. He was an acting major. Mm -hmm. Actor, right? Okay. Yeah. Brilliant, beautiful actor. He's acting right now, I know, because he rehearsed this before he I got am on. Not acting right now. I love <laughs> your you, sister. Oh. I love her. Anyone that knows me knows that I love Dawn. And I would not go on national TV or tri state area TV to tell her that I love her. <laughs> I believe I wouldn't that do a lot of me. things. I really I love Dawn, and okay. I miss her. But you she... lied to her now twice, because you didn't tell her the truth about the, uh, the cheating thing that either, was, that did was you? back then, and I regret that. And You're... I told her I was sorry, and we got through that. She forgave me for that. The last time that we broke up was because of the pressures of her parents not liking me and my friends not liking her, and I let that well, get to me. Well, you also liked his girl. That was a big mistake, and I apologize for that. Okay. And I know she could find a thousand guys better than me, but I could never find a girl more caring, loving, or who would want to give me <laughs> her heart now. Is he winning you over here? Is this possible this might actually work out? Excuse me? Is it possible that things might actually work yeah, out? Not between again. The two I tried so many times. You know, there's only so much a person can take for okay. a whole week. <laughs> when we got back together, after he cheated on me and we got back together, for a whole week he was changing his mind. One day he wanted me, the next day he wanted this girl, and he kept changing I his mind. I explained that. That was in September. We got through that. I really love her. I want to continue. I, I was just very confused on March 1st. Here's and I the thought, same thing. Real quick, did you, ever, did you ever see that girl? Oh, yeah. We met and we went to his house. You saw her? Oh, we met. She called me when he wanted her back to make sure me and him were broken up because he lied to her. He told her me and him weren't going out anymore. So I met her. We went over his house together. And he had a whole bunch of his friends there. Some of his friends are in the audience now that were there. And he had himself a little show there. But what I'm saying is this is all September. We got through this. That, uh -huh. that You're a new man now. Okay. Me. What I mean yeah. is now. We got, okay. She's saying no now. We've got four more segments in the show for you to keep working on her, okay? <laughs> right now, when we, were, when we were setting the show up, there were so many people who wanted to come on and plead for, you know, to get somebody back. I don't personally know why these people want to come on TV and do this stuff. <laughs> I, I could never do it. But, uh, but anyway, they do. And uh, so we decided that we are going to give each one of them, just to make things equitable here, we set up this little area over here. It looks kind of like Masterpiece Theater. We've got, like, the, the Alistair Cook chair here. And uh, I'm going to give you my mic for exactly 20 seconds. You can make your plea to get this person back, okay? It's nice and